This case study focuses on the use of desktop applications of corresponding Web 2.0 services to persuade people through simplification. Now, the desktop applications not only enable the user to use the service without opening the browser, they also integrate the use of the service with the softwares of their daily use. A case in point is the LinkedIn Outlook toolbar. So this is your favorite email client and here is the LinkedIn Outlook toolbar. Now the first button here opens up the LinkedIn homepage within your email client. So that's an advantage. And uh, then let's go to the dashboard here. Now that dashboard is the place where all the ha action happens. So dashboard helps you keep in touch with uh, your most important contacts in three ways. Firstly, by reminding you of the important contacts you haven't exchanged email with recently. Secondly, by helping you keep your Outlook address book up to date. And also, thirdly, by directing you to email that may require your attention. Now let's look at the keep in touch uh, reminders. So, uh, this reminders list displays several contacts with whom you have not exchanged emails in the past two months. The list also shows upcoming and recently passed birthdays and anniversaries if your Outlook address book contains such information. Now let's look at the needs a reply list. This list displays email messages from contacts that may require a reply. The toolbar uses several techniques to determine which emails may require a reply, including looking for certain phrases or symbols in recent messages addressed to you. There's also a needs follow-up list. This list identifies important sent email messages for which you have not yet received a reply and that may require a follow-up. Only emails that are less than a month old will appear on this list. Now let's take a look at the contact updates list. Now the updates from the LinkedIn lists, the LinkedIn connections not in your address book and the LinkedIn connections who are in your address book that have recently changed their primary email and or other contact information. The contacts from your email list, people to whom you have sent email but who are not in your address book. There's also the contact to invite list. This list shows contacts who you are not connected to on LinkedIn. Click invite next to the contacts name to open a pre-addressed invitation template. An outlook. And notice that the first few features of the dashboard do not directly persuade the user to expand his network on LinkedIn but are more like favors from LinkedIn for the user. But having benefited from these favors the user would feel persuaded to invite others to join his network based on the principle of reciprocity which BJ mentions in his book. BJ mentions in his book that before leaving for Europe he gifted his family a set of stamped and addressed envelopes so that he could reduce the steps required to drop him a note. Now, the LinkedIn Outlook toolbar is an excellent example of persuasion through simplification. Now, let's say I have a friend, Nippon, who I feel should be on my uh, LinkedIn network. So, I open his email and there, there's this info box which opens up. So, I could either add him to my notification list or I could just click on the invite link and which would open a predefined template and I'm just one click away from inviting him on LinkedIn. Another great simplifying feature of this Outlook toolbar is a grab utility. So, let's say I have a friend who has a signature like this. So I just highlight his signature and click on the grab button and it automatically fills all the important fields with the data from the signature. And I'm again just one click away from inviting.